big, strong and handsome warriors from the north that sailed throughout most of Europe and raided the local monasteries. That is the image that most of us have when we think about the Vikings. However, it was not always fun to be a Viking, because the Vikings fought with many invisible enemies on a daily basis. The living conditions were very different in the Viking Age, and unlike today, people had the farm animals inside their houses. This led to the environment around the people in the Viking Age to be a lot dirtier than it is today in our modern society. A dirty environment like this is, of course, the perfect breeding ground for parasites. And according to a Danish study from 2014, this meant that the Vikings was plagued by several forms of intestinal worms. The Danish researchers at the University of Copenhagen have examined 1,000-year-old parasite eggs from Viking feces. And according to the research, there was found eggs from three different kinds of parasites. Roundworms, whipworms and the liver fluke. The roundworm is a parasite that lives inside the intestines and they can grow up to a length of 30 centimeters. The whipworm lives inside the intestinal wall and they can grow up to a length of 5 centimeters. And the liver fluke live in the liver where it eats from the liver cells and it can grow up to a length of 3 centimeters. The Vikings that were infected by these hideous parasites had symptoms such as a weakened immune system and if it was left untreated it could cause liver damage and anemia. While just the thought of worms crawling through your body isn't already bad enough. The examination of skeletons that have been found from the Viking Age reveals that many of the Vikings had dental problems. In fact, 25% of the population had cavities. Almost all of the skulls that have been dated to the Viking Age are missing some of their teeth, and some only had a few left. If it was lack of knowledge of dental care or too much meat, it is only something that we can speculate about today. It was also possible to see on the Viking skeletons that they were suffering from osteoarthritis on their back and on their hands and knees, which is often seen in a society where physical hard work is part of a daily life. Despite what Hollywood might have taught you, most people in Scandinavia were not warriors in the Viking Age. But in fact, they were just ordinary hard-working farmers. The Vikings loved to feel the warm summer breeze in the hair when they were out sailing, and sometimes it was for another purpose than just to catch fish. Because they would often sail to the British Isles for a short visit. This was not just to bring gifts for the locals in form of sharp axes, but also to visit the local monasteries. The contact between the Vikings and the British had many unforeseen consequences than just a missing hit. It was also something that caused new diseases to spread among the British. Diseases such as the Dupuytren disease, also known as the Viking disease, a nickname it has gotten because it's believed to originate from Scandinavia. This Viking gift for the British was truly a gift that kept on giving, and it can still be found in certain parts of Britain today, especially in areas where the Vikings settled during the Viking Age. For instance, in areas such as in Scotland and in the northern parts of England. This disease affects the palm of the hand and the fingers. For instance, the disease can cause one or more of the fingers to bend inwards, so they cannot be straightened. Other signs of this disease include a very thick skin or small lumps underneath the skin in the palm of the hand, but also small and deep indentations of the skin. So if you or someone in your family has this disease, there's a very high chance that you might have Viking blood in your DNA. It was of course not just diseases that affected the quality of life, and some of the people in Scandinavia was of course also warriors and went on raids. Which meant that these Vikings might not just have suffered from the diseases that I have already mentioned, but many of them also had battle injuries, 
and these battle injuries would often last their whole lifetime. If we, for instance, take a look at this skull from the National Museum of Denmark, we can see that this person lost a piece of the back of the skull from a sword attack, but luckily for him, he still managed to survive his injury. We know this because we can see the wounds around the injury have healed over time. However, later in his life, he was struck again, and this time it seems that it was fatal, which is something we know because we can see the injury did not heal again, and therefore he probably died shortly after. The Viking Age was indeed not an easy time to be alive, and with so many diseases and injuries, it really shouldn't come as a surprise to you that the Vikings had a life expectancy of 35 to 50 years. It was very rare that someone would live to be more than 50 years old. Even the royals and people of high status could not cheat death and extend their lives more than the common folk. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please give it a big thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, remember to press that subscribe button. See you next Sunday for another video. Thank you for watching.